Hello everyone, Steve Tober for NJ Hotshots and Sideline Chatter. You talk about a great prep school matchup, Montclair Kimberly Academy and Newark Academy. Two ancient rivals, going back to the days when Newark Academy was in the city of Newark. While MKA has certainly been rising in the football ranks this season, entering this game looking to nail down a non-public Group 2 playoff berth, while Newark Academy and non-public won, certainly with playoff aspirations. Newark Academy has only made it once in the last decade, while well, MKA has not made the playoffs since 2002. What would happen over at Van Brunfield on homecoming as the Minutemen took on the Cougars? Two traditional rivals get it underway as the Cougars kick off to the Minutemen and speedy Jordan Jett will take the ball, but it'll be brought down at his own 15-yard line. The Cougars asserting themselves in the early going. We pick up the offense. Junior fullback Mike Sasso burst up the middle for a 15-yard gain as the MK offense is on the move. That sets the stage for a huge first-half play. Cougars quarterback Gabe DeMassey connects with Power Lawrence, and Lawrence does the rest, darting back and forth across the field to complete a 52-yard pass play, and MKA is first on the board, a five-play 80-yard advance, and Power Lawrence has the Cougars on the board, and Pat Carroll, extra point, will give the home team a 7-0 lead with 3.53 still showing in the first quarter. We'll pick up the action now, late second quarter. Again, they'll turn to the swing pass, will MKA. Damasi goes right side to Mike Sasso, who has plenty of running room, picking up 35 yards while going all the way down to the 15 of the Minutemen. Then Damasi will connect with wide receiver Pat Carroll for 15 more yards. And from there, who else? They'll go to Power Lawrence. The combination of Damasi and Lawrence once again Finishing it off, this time on a six-yard pass play, a TD for Lawrence and company. Pat Carroll's extra point with just 19 seconds left in the half. 14-0 Cougars, they're dominating at this point. Let's move to the third quarter. Newark Academy backed up to its own one-yard line. Jack Lawler's pass intercepted by junior defensive back Kyle Clark, who goes 17 yards untouched for the touchdown. A huge pick for the Cougars secondary standout and the extra point with fail, so it was MKA 20 with 5.18 left in the third quarter. They are up 20 to nothing. But the Minutemen are not going away easily. Jordan Jett, one of the great backs in the SEC, finds running room. 45 yards, he bolts for the touchdown. The Minutemen on the board and Adam Seltzer. The extra point placement will cut the Cougars lead just a bit as Newark Academy will now trail 20 to seven with 3.05 left in the stanza. Want to see a pretty play? How about a perfectly executed middle screen as Lawler finds Troy Sutton, who will move the ball 18 yards down to the 12. From there, two plays later, Sutton will finish off an impressive nine-play, 57-yard advance, 10-yard touchdown run, and just like that, with 9.16 to go, it's now suddenly MKA 20, Newark Academy 13, and the Minutemen are right back in the game. But the Cougars would come away with a victory. Coach Lance Raymer and company improving to 4-2 and two while enhancing their playoff chances. We had a chance to talk to some happy Cougars. Greg Froelich, two-way lineman for Montclair, Kimberly Academy, 20-13 over rival Newark Academy here on homecoming day at Van Brunfield. And Greg, a struggle there in the second half, but you guys come away with a big victory. Yeah, we, uh, we, played, we played tough in the beginning. We faltered a little bit, you know, penalties. That guy really killed us today. But we'll fix that and come back to next week. This is a big win for us. Mike Sasso, linebacker, fullback for MKA, 102 yards rushing for you. Hard-earned rushing. You guys churned it out today. A big victory. Yeah, we sure did. Um, we all worked as a unit today. We got a couple linemen back. We got Greg, who's out all week with a concussion. And he came back and stepped up real big with us. Uh, Michael DeVita, he had a really hurt ankle. He came back and... Uh, he helped us out today. Steve Tober with Coach Lance Raymer. 20 to 13 victory for MKA over Newark Academy at homecoming here at Van Brunfield. And Coach, it wasn't pretty. A lot of penalties out there today. Tough second half for you guys. No tempo really, but you come away with a big victory. Yeah, I mean, the end result, we said, you know, the bottom line is score, score more points than them. And we did. Um, that said, you know, it, you know they're, they're a good team. Yeah, Jets a great player. They're going to make, we knew they were going to make some plays. It was just sort of weathering the storm, and I think that I like the way we bounced back. We, we caught, you know, we probably had about 16, 17 penalties that we'll talk about uh, on Monday on the film session. But um, they made some plays. We just made a few more, and we're happy to get out of here with a W. Big win for MKA. Now four and two, looking to match their best record 
since 2002 when they were 6-5 and five and nailed down a playoff berth and now combined non-public 1-2 and two this year. Newark Academy this weekend has their homecoming while they're entertained Cedar Grove. They really need to win the Minutemen do because they're 3-3, three and three, have Cedar Grove, then Verona the following week, so win essential for the Minutemen. The Cougars of MKA, they'll host Marlboro from the Shore Conference at Van Brunt Field. Our top performer from the game, number 33, Mike Sasso of MKA. The junior fullback linebacker gained 102 yards rushing and led a stellar defensive effort that held the Minutemen in check most of the way. Great performance by Mike Sasso and the MKA Cougars, and always log on to see more highlights and great game action throughout the fall.